Hi, I'm here today with Pamela Moulton, who is a sculptor, installation artist, and educator. And she's going to talk a little bit about what she does for work and how it ties into the Bigelow, Bigelow Project. Great. Um, hello, I'm Pamela, and I'm very honored to be part of the Gulf of Maine Eco Arts Project at Bigelow Labs. Um, I'm a community artist. Uh, my work process is um, I usually will take a material um, and I will figure out how to tame a certain material with, with a goal in mind. The goal, whenever possible, trying to communicate something um, about how we are harming nature. That's um, a lot of times I'll work with materials that are dangerous and are man-made and I'll take these materials um, like plastics is a good example, um, which are terrible for our environment. And I'll take the plastics and I'll make them look like organic seashells. I will then um, take these small samples uh, into my community, wherever I'm living, um, take them into the schools. Um, I work with the elderly, so I take my projects into the elderly facilities. And in fact, behind me is um, an example of a collaboration I did with elderly people um, for a memory care unit. And this is called The Forest, and it has a, it has a retro soundscape to it um, with like Glenn Miller music playing. And it has a lot of um, retro items. There, there are, um, pull a piece of it over. Like here we have uh, some, these are some um, spools of thread covered with rhinestones and some curlers, I've got some curlers there. I've got some, like some shoes. I've got, um, oh, here's a piece. This is a piece that makes music little sound. Um, it's really beautiful. Look at that. It sort of like has a Klimt-esque feel to it. Uh, but the um, Gulf of Maine Eco Arts Project is so perfect um, because they've asked me to work with rope. And the, oh, and the reason I'm working with the rope is that now lobster, there's like different kinds of rope. There's like floating rope the lobstermen use and, and that's lethal to the North American whale they get all tangled up in it and um, it's just such a danger. So they're restricting uh, the amount of this floating rope that lobstermen can use. So I'm reaching out to my friends up in Northern Maine who are lobstermen, trying to collect their rope, trying to find it, trying to look at the different colors I can find, see what's gonna work. And so depending on what what this giant whale is gonna look like, the colors of the birds, I'll have to design something that, that um, works with everything. So it's really working with other artists is like putting a puzzle, a live puzzle together and, and figuring it out. So it's, um, it's a great adventure and we're just at the beginning of it. So thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of this.